I've always thought that I was strong, marching to the beat of my own drum, humming the tune of my own song, never afraid to speak, my voice strong, my heart never weak until it happened here. It was my freshman year. It was Saturday, November 9th. It was a Saturday, just like any other night. I never expected I'd have to struggle. I never I expected I'd have to fight. Yeah, well, I think like everyone was talking about in the rally and that we're talking about in this debrief is that rape culture really is everywhere. It's a culture that we are currently living in. And by rape culture, it means that there is something in the culture that can perpetuate rape, that supports rape, whether, rather, um, either tacitly or not, it's tangible and intangible. So examples would be like catcalling and street harassment and not believing survivors when they come forward, telling girls to carry pepper spray, just little things like that that perpetuated rape to continue to happen in tangible and intangible ways. It was important for me because so many of my friends and even myself are uh, survivors of different aspects of rape culture, rape culture, whether it's street harassment, sexual violence, slut shaming, victim blaming, and for myself, sexual assault. And so that's just something that um, is really important for me because I don't see why we should get blamed for something we, like, we have literally no responsibility for. Like, it's always the survivor. Like I said, it's so pervasive. We always get told it's because of the clothing. It's because you were too promiscuous. It's because you were drinking too much. And, like, that's not what it is. Rape happens because of a rapist.